Bible, 1 John chapter 4, verse 9 to 11, tells us that God loved us so much that he sent his only son Jesus for us to pay for our sins. So, since God loved us so much, we should also love one another. So, today, let's sing and celebrate God's love together. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. His banner over me. His banner over you, His banner over us, is love, love, love. His banner over me, His banner over you, His banner over us, is love, love, love. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide. You can't get around it, oh, wonderful love. I hope you're enjoying the story about Moses so far and all the adventures that he's had. Along the way, lots of things are happening to him. Some are good, some not so good making some good choices and some bad choices. But one thing seems to be there, that God is with him. Now, Moses is in media, medium, and he's with a new family. The father of the house, the owner of the house is called Jethro. I remember, Jethro has seven daughters and they're all shepherd dressed. And so now in the house, Jethro has invited Moses to come and stay with them because he's a stranger in medium. He has no family and he's running away from Pharaoh. But Moses was sort of worried and said to him, please, um, you know, I'm a wanted slave. If Pharaoh knows you're, look, you're harboring me, you'll be in trouble. So Jethro said to Moses, don't worry, you're safe here because if you've managed to cross the that huge desert all the way from Egypt to Medium. He who has no name must have been looking after you. Moses looked at him and said, Do you believe in that God as well as the Israelites? My people, the Israelites, believe in a God who has no name. And Jethro said, Yes. He who has no name is not on is God of Abraham. Abraham, we, we are part of Abraham's descendants. We are the descendants of Ishmael. Oh, that's interesting. But never mind. That's something we need to look up at another day. Now, Moses stayed with Jethro's family. They taught him to be a shepherd. He learned how to be a shepherd, how to look after sheep. He became very good at it. And as he lived with them over the years, could you believe it? lived there for so many years and over time he fell in love with one of the seven daughters called Zafira and he married Zafira. Moses and Zafira had two sons and they lived happily they were quite happy together in Jethro's tents with medium and Moses was happy being a shepherd. He was contented. He didn't have any more troubles. Now one day, Moses took the flock 
of the hill. And he wandered up the hill, the up, up Mount Sinai. And as he was going up the mountain, something strange caught his eye. What was this? He thought. Well, the bush was burning, but the plants were not consumed. This fascinated and intrigued Moses so much that he wanted to go and find out what was happening. So he walked up the mountain and he got to the place where the, there was a fire burning. And there, as he got closer and closer, he heard a voice. He said, Moses, Moses. Yeah. Moses looked around. What was that? Moses, Moses, take off your sandals, for you are on a holy ground. He was shocked, surprised. Moses took off his sandals. Then looked around. Who is this voice coming from? Who is this? And the Lord said, I am. Yahweh, I have heard the voice of my people. I have heard their cry. And, the, and I've heard of their, I have seen their suffering. Now, I want you to go back to Egypt and free my people from slavery. What she said, what? M -m 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 me? I can't even speak. I, I'm a stutter. How can I do I can't talk to Pharaoh. I, I I can't. God said, I want you to go to Egypt and set my people free. Moses thought it. Oh, but God, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to talk. How am I going to talk, talk to Pharaoh? To let my people go. God said, I give the power of speech. I will tell you what to say. Moses was still scared. He was scared. He was frightened. I'm thinking, how can I go back to Egypt where I have run away because I committed such a bad crime of killing someone and I'll go back there and match up to Pharaoh and tell him to let the, my people go? That's never going to happen. And God, by the way, if they ask me who who sent you? What shall I say? And God you say, God said to him, You'll say, I am that I am that I sent you. Yahweh, I am that I am have sent you. Mm. Moses was even more confused. And then he said, God, please send somebody else. Don't send me. I am slow of speech. I stutter. I can't do this. God was not angry with him. God said, okay, I will send your brother Aaron with you. Aaron will do the talking and you will perform the miracles that I will send you with. He said, Aaron is on his way to look for you. He shall meet you. But what, meanwhile, he said to Moses, you know what? So these are some of his things he will show the people of Israel and they will know that I have sent you. These are the signs he will show Pharaoh and Pharaoh will know that I have sent you. He said, put your hand under your armpits. And he did. And when he brought it out, his hand was all white. Leprosy. <gasps> Moses was shocked. <gasps> oh, my hand is diseased. And God said, put it back in your, under your armpits. And he did. And he brought it out. And his hand was whole again. And then he said, God said to Moses, what have you got in your hand? He said, a staff. Now it's a shepherd's staff. Now throw that on the floor. And he threw it on the floor. He touched a snake. This big, long, slithering snake. Oh! Moses jumped out of him. God said, pick the snail, the snake up by its tail. Good. 
because the shepherd's foot causes cold. Moses said, and God said to Moses, you will show this to Pharaoh to prove to him what I have sent you. Moses obeyed. And he came back and from the mountain went to Jethro's tent and told Jethro, I must go back to Egypt. I want to see my family. to go with me. And Moses said, no, I must walk my sons. I must go back to Jethro's tent and meet him because he does not know what the thing is going to be like, how long it will take, and what he must do. So he went. And on the way, he met with Aaron. And he told Aaron what God has said to him. And Aaron confirmed this and said, yes. An experience with God. God said to me that I must pack a bag and go to meet him. And there I will come with you. That's exactly what happened. And when this time had come and passed, Moses came to Egypt and they met and he met with them. They had a talk and talked about how God had spoken to them and how they must obey God and how what God has told them to do. Hello everyone, today we look at Moses. God speaks to us in various different ways, through our friends, our loved ones, even through a stranger. Even through a burning bush, in respect of Moses. Sometimes we are faced with challenges and we aren't confident enough to take those challenges on head on. And so we need to ask God to help us, provide us with the tools, the knowledge, and the confidence to take these challenges on. So, as you go out to school in this new academic year, you'll be faced with challenges such as uh, new subjects or advanced areas in subjects that you've already studied. And you might not have the confidence to take these on. So, pray to God and ask Him to help you and provide you with the tools, the resources, the knowledge and the confidence to take these challenges on. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that despite what it is, we can always come to you with the big things 
and with the not so big things. Father, help us, Lord, to know that you are always there, ready and willing and able to help us as we face challenges, whether it be on a daily basis or the odd one or two that might come our way. Teach us how to listen to you, Father, and to come to you to ask for your leading and your guidance and your direction. Amen. Have a blessed week and take care. God bless you all. Bye.